So hi everyone, uh, my name is Raj Rana and uh, today I am going to build this uh, tree view okay, uh, using uh, view nested components. Uh, so let's start with the coding section. So, so coming to the coding part, uh, so first of all we will start with the data structure we need for this uh, to so the nested tree view okay uh, and it may so we are building uh, totally dynamic uh, so doesn't matter how much deep nested it is so I am using here this is the basic data structure this structure so uh, it is an object with a label keyword which is having a string which is and also node nodes which is having an array of object and which another inside there is a object label and nodes again there is a label nodes okay and an array of object so this is uh, the structure that I am going to use uh, depends upon you or your API team how are they are structuring this nested somebody uh, somebody will be just nesting uh, not nesting in this data structure they will be uh, using an array of object that's and that's uh, totally up to you uh, but in this uh, then we are going to use a composition uh, sorry recursive components so this is just a logic so for this tutorial i'm using the script setup which is a syntactic figure of the composition api and it's just uh, have a less code and its compile time is very fast than uh, composition api so uh, if you want to look out there is a documentation about this okay sfc script setup so so let's start with the coding part and i have built a component here okay so for this define props and label string and nodes won't be an array to be but uh, in um, we are using here uh, TypeScript if you are using JavaScript don't bother but we know in TypeScript we need a type animation it's, it's very strict okay so for, uh, so for that I am building a nodes so it's label and that's how we have designed this you know uh, we have to so this is how we represent uh, nested nodes okay in uh, interface so it is again pointing this node and which is again our label and nodes uh, because we know our data structure is here uh, like this only uh, so Uh, it should be optional okay and now just uh, do uh, uh, so the label and So this is a tree view, uh, which is uh, this component here is uh, referring to again uh, itself only. Uh, you can also import over here, import the component and 
uh, you can uh, give an alias name or any kind of name you want but uh, for this tutorial i'm not going that uh, so before Okay. Sorry. Items in the label. In the label. Item not label. And this. Uh, what? Are, what? Are, consider uh, notes. Item the notes, okay. And importing that component here, uh, free from um, oops, sorry, I'm importing here uh, wrong wrong place um, okay preview and again this will uh, passing this preview Label this three dot label and nodes would be three dot nodes. Sorry for the background noise disturbance. Um, yes. There's some three nodes. And let's see what's the output here. Ah yes, it's working. So right now we need to uh, remove this logo. Okay, and this also we don't need this right for, for now and you can see uh, root level 1 level 1.1 1.2 and 1.2.1 okay so it's uh, working so and now next what we want is a collapsible it should collapse you know and for that I'm going to first of all uh, build a Uh, label label is just comments. Uh, like it will display flex and line item center. Okay, and I'm going to import an image. Then the image, what's the name of that image? And okay, folder plus yes. So this is uh, looking nice. And another, which is like a class child, so 
so for this uh, you have got the logic okay uh, whenever there is no more uh, nodes means there is no more array here uh, it will not uh, this uh, component will not render okay so this is the basic ex uh, logic here so whenever there is this nodes is empty means uh, as you can see uh, the there is no nodes or undefined so it will not uh, render this component will not render and it will, it will remain blank so so for a child child um, border left solid Margin left would be mountain px. Okay. And border uh, left. Sorry. Having left is mountain px. This child, okay. I'm going to uh, debug it, but for now, mm, now we want something like a uh, toggle. Uh, okay. And this would be a function uh, which So, and ref uh, would be okay. So, I have to import the ref here. Now it works and I hope you are aware of all this ref value what it uh, value is doing here okay and uh, I'm just very bad in naming So by default, uh, it would be false. So you can see, yes, uh, it's working. But uh, we also need to change this folder icon. Okay. So And what I'm going to do is a uh, VEF 
be if so if I show is a false then else if you know view uh, v else we, we have something like a v else so check it here uh, see as you can see here the minus sign is over here and this is working fine wow so I hope you got this logic that uh, whenever there is no more nodes uh, that this comp comp component is not going to work. so rest all is just uh, so I have to figure out why is not this working it's order okay inspect that this border left is not working why I'm not getting here this should work and that's Very strange. Well, I have uh, misspelled or something. Okay, I don't care. It's working. And yes, this is very what we wanted. So okay, uh, and. So guys, thank you for watching this tutorial and if you like my content, uh, just share among your friends and don't forget to hit the like button and press the subscribe button.